Imagine a world where armies no longer rely on huge, slow-moving tanks, but on a new kind of vehicle that is faster, more versatile, and adaptable to any situation. A vehicle that can cross land, water, and even adapt to various combat roles with ease. Welcome to the era of the ST Turex. This isn't just another armored vehicle. It represents a massive shift in military strategy and design. But why is it getting so much attention from armies around the world? What makes this vehicle so special that it's being considered for some of the most demanding military programs in the world? Stick around, and let's take a closer look at the ST Turex, an armored vehicle that is changing the future of warfare. The ST Turex was developed in Singapore in response to a rapidly changing battlefield. As modern warfare shifted towards more mobile and flexible operations, the need for an armored vehicle that could bridge the gap between an infantry fighting vehicle, IFE, and an armored personnel carrier, APC, became clear. The Turex, with its unique design and capabilities, filled that gap perfectly, offering a balanced mix of protection, firepower, and troop-carrying capacity. This is exactly what modern armies need a vehicle that can adapt to multiple roles while ensuring the safety of the crew and soldiers inside. Development began in the late 1990s as a private venture, with design work shared between Singapore's ST Engineering and Ireland's Timoni Technology Limited. By 2001, a prototype was unveiled as the AV-81, and after several rounds of revisions, it re-emerged in 2004 as the vehicle we know today. Production started in 2006 in partnership with Otokar of Turkey, and by 2017, the ST Turex was officially in service with both the Singapore Armed Forces and the Turkish Army, where it's known as the Baby 82. The design of the Turex focuses on practicality and versatility, making it suitable for a wide range of missions. It stands at 6.10 feet tall and measures 23 feet in length, with a beam of 8.9 feet. Despite its size, it is compact enough to be airlifted in the belly of a Lockheed C-130 Hercules, one of the most widely used military transport aircraft. This means it can be deployed quickly, even in difficult terrain, and offers a highly mobile solution for rapid military operations. But size is not the only thing that makes the Turek stand out. The vehicle is designed with a crew of two, driver and vehicle commander and can carry up to 12 combat-ready infantrymen. This flexibility allows the Turex to be used in a variety of roles, from troop transport to reconnaissance, and even as a mobile command center. The vehicle's modular design means it can be quickly reconfigured to meet different operational requirements, making it incredibly versatile. Protection is one of the most important features of the Turex. It's armored to withstand small arms fire, up to 7.62 millimeters and shell splinters, with optional add-on armor for even greater protection. In a world where battlefield threats are constantly evolving, the Turex offers solid defense against the most common threats while maintaining the mobility needed for rapid responses. To further enhance its protection, the vehicle is equipped with smoke grenade dischargers, allowing the crew to create a smoke screen and escape from dangerous situations. The Turex is powered by a 400-horsepower Caterpillar C9 diesel engine, giving it a top speed of 70 miles per hour and a range of 500 miles. This allows it to travel quickly over long distances, making it ideal for both rapid deployment and sustained operations. Whether on paved roads or across rugged terrain, the Turex can handle it all, thanks to its 8x8 hydropneumatic suspension system. The two steerable front axles give it excellent maneuverability, allowing it to navigate tight spaces and difficult environments with ease. But it doesn't stop there. The Turex also boasts amphibious capabilities, allowing it to cross water obstacles using water jets located at the rear of the vehicle. This amphibious feature is essential in many modern military operations, where rivers and lakes often present significant challenges. The Terex's ability to quickly transition from land to water makes it an even more valuable asset on the battlefield, providing flexibility that many other armored vehicles lack. In terms of armament, the Terex is equipped with a CS-40 automatic grenade launcher, AGL, 
and a 7.62 mm machine gun mounted in a coaxial configuration. These weapons are integrated into a remote weapon station, RWS, meaning the crew can operate them from within the safety of the vehicle, minimizing exposure to enemy fire. This setup ensures that the Turex can provide effective fire support when needed, while keeping the crew protected inside. The Turex is also equipped with several additional machine gun mounts positioned on the rear of the hull, allowing for 360-degree defense. This means that even when the vehicle is under attack from multiple directions, the crew can respond quickly and effectively. Moreover, the vehicle's design allows for the use of personal weapons, further enhancing its defensive capabilities and giving the crew more options for protection. One of the most impressive features of the Turex is its situational awareness. Thanks to a comprehensive array of cameras placed around the vehicle, the crew enjoys full 360-degree visibility, ensuring that they are always aware of their surroundings. This is crucial in modern warfare, where threats can come from any direction. The system is fully integrated into Singapore's Armed Forces Battle Space Network, providing real-time data and intelligence that can be shared with other units, increasing the overall effectiveness of military operations. Protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC. threats is also a priority for the Turex. The vehicle comes standard with an NBC suite, providing the crew with full protection against a range of airborne threats. This ensures that the Turex can continue operating in environments where other vehicles might be disabled due to chemical, biological, or radioactive contamination. The external design of the Turex is functional and conventional featuring large, well-spaced wheels and a V-shaped hull for blast protection. The hull is designed to deflect the force of explosions away from the vehicle, protecting the crew from mines and roadside bombs, which remain a significant threat in many conflict zones. This V-shaped hull, combined with a high ground clearance, gives the Turex excellent protection against these types of threats. Despite its robust design, the Turex maintains a relatively low profile, making it a harder target for enemies. The vehicle's near-vertical glassy plate provides basic ballistic protection while allowing for more efficient use of space inside the vehicle. The front-left driver's position and the engine mounted to the right allow for efficient use of space in the rear, where the passenger compartment is located. This arrangement ensures that the crew has quick and easy access to the vehicle's most critical components. The Terex's ability to adapt to a wide range of battlefield roles is one of its strongest points. Beyond being a troop carrier, it can be configured for anti-tank operations, fire support, reconnaissance, medical evacuation, medevac, and even local air defense. Its modular design allows it to be reconfigured quickly making it a versatile asset in any situation. Its potential roles include anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, carrier, mortar carrier, and mobile command and control unit. Beyond its service with the Singapore Armed Forces, the Turex has attracted interest from other militaries around the world. It is currently a candidate for the United States Marine Corps' Marine Personnel Carrier, MPC program, and it is also under consideration for Australia's Land 400 program. These are some of the most demanding military requirements in the world, and the Terex's performance in trials and evaluations shows that it can meet the toughest standards. The global interest in the Terex highlights the growing trend of militaries looking for more mobile and adaptable solutions to meet the challenges of modern warfare. With its mix of mobility, protection, firepower, and versatility, the Turex represents the future of armored vehicle design. It's a vehicle that can do it all. Transport troops, engage in combat, provide support, and adapt to any mission. And as military needs evolve, vehicles like the Turex will continue to play a key role in shaping the future of warfare. Whether it's crossing a river, providing fire support, or evacuating wounded soldiers from the front lines, the Turex is built to handle it all. Its ability to quickly adapt to a wide range of scenarios, combined with its excellent protection and powerful firepower, makes it a crucial asset for modern armies. As we look to the future, 
it's clear that the Turex will continue to be at the forefront of armored vehicle design. So, what does the future hold for the ST Turex? As more militaries recognize the need for more flexible, versatile vehicles, the Turex is likely to become a standard in military inventories worldwide. Its success in trials and its growing reputation show that it's a vehicle that can be trusted in the most demanding environments. Whether in the jungles of Southeast Asia, the deserts of the Middle East, or the rugged terrain of Europe, the Turex is ready to face any challenge head-on. If you found this video interesting and want to learn more about the latest advancements in military technology, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring you more exciting content like this. Also, leave us a comment below and let us know what you think about the ST Turex. Would you want to see it in action?